Hello everyone, uh, this is Ori Bloop. Welcome back to another Game Builder Garage tutorial. Um, today we actually have quite a highly suggested video. Um, I've seen some comments on Reddit and also some comments on my um, past uh, YouTube tutorials, but um, this is how to make a conveyor belt. Um, I actually went through multiple prototypes um, and I found that this was the best one uh, in terms of saving nodons and also uh, working effectively and functioning correctly. Um, but let's go ahead and just get started. So um, if you guys see that we have a third person camera set up, we can uh, run around, we can look around with the camera. Um, I feature this uh, camera a lot on my channel. So if you wanna know how to do it, uh, in the top right of this video, there will be a link on how to make this. Um, if you go into the edit mode, um, it's actually really simple, so you guys can just go ahead and click that link on the top right. But let's go ahead and actually make the conveyor belt itself. So uh, the way this works is um, we're going to need a simple object, and that will act as uh, the visual side of our conveyor belt. So if we go to objects, simple objects, and box, uh, we can go ahead and make this box really skinny. And for the settings, we'll change the size for the X. Um, to 140 and then uh, just some other properties uh, we will turn off destructive destructible and we'll turn off movable um, and then for color uh, we'll just make this a black and if we go ahead and put that in our game uh, there we go so this will be our uh, what our conveyor belt will look like um, also I made a texture over here that we will be applying to our conveyor belt so if we go ahead and just go and connect this straight up to there and if we look in the game there we go there is our conveyor belt of course it doesn't do anything but this is what our uh, conveyor belt will look like so let's go ahead and actually make the um the functioning like of the conveyor belt so uh let's go to back to edit and um basically what this uses is um a attract node on and the way this works is it will attract you to the end of the conveyor belt and it will continuously uh, keep pushing you forward. So if we go to objects and we go to launch, destroy, and attract, we can go ahead and grab our attract object. Um, we want this to be the same distance for our uh, uh, as our box and we can go ahead and just directly connect it to our um, object just like that. And if we go inside the attract object into the settings, um, for attract which objects, this is completely up to you guys. Um, depending what you want on the conveyor belt, that's what will move on the conveyor belt. So um, in this case, we're going to try a person and we're going to go ahead and try a crate. Um, so we have a crate and person um, for the attract which objects. And then this is the most important part to the um, to the conveyor belt itself. So for center of attraction, um, it's automatically defaulted to center, um, but we don't want that. We want it to push us forward. So if we go to um, X plus, that should go to the end of the um, invisible box for the center of attraction. So if we go ahead and get out of there, we can see now that uh, Everything, this should appear on top of this conveyor belt, and this is what actually drives us to move forward. So if we go ahead and push play, we can see that our invisible box is there, and if we go on our conveyor belt, it will go ahead and push us forward. Uh, I can show that again. Push us forward just like that. Um, and it also works. Um, if we go on the side of it, it will push us forward like that. Uh, but I'll show you guys where the real magic is. So... Um, since this is a pretty basic system, uh, you can basically move this and add as many as you want to it and it will continuously move your player. So let's go ahead and just copy this a few times, just like that. And then of course, don't forget to add, um, don't forget to add the, the texture to your conveyor belts, just like this. Okay. Um, I'll just do the bird's eye view for right now, but if we go back to play, we have a row of our conveyor belts. And if we go at, at the end, it will continuously move us on, on a designed path. 
um, just like a conveyor belt would work. Um, of course, you can also go on the side and it will work and function the exact same. So if we go right here, it will just go right back into the line. So if we go right here, it will just move us back. Um, and of course, uh, I know I'd probably get some comments about this and asking if it would work, but um, if we have a conveyor belt coming from the side. So if we go ahead and copy that and we turn this around just like that and we move it right there and let's make sure we add the texture to our conveyor belt. Uh, oh, so there we go. Add the uh, texture to the to the object. Uh, oh, I did it wrong. Um, here, let me go ahead and just spin this around again, just like this, and make sure that it's not touching the other conveyor belt. So if we go ahead and look in the game, now what should happen is um, it should bring us to the main conveyor belt, this little side part, and it will do. It will do the exact thing that you say, you know, and, and you attach it to. So if we go to the end of it, it will just go right on the path. Um, it just it goes according to what the arrow, uh, arrows are pointing at, or in this case, what the attract object is bringing towards the X plus. So uh, we can do that again. And you guys can basically add um, an infinite amount of conveyor belts to each other. Um, of course, they have to be pointing towards, uh, towards each other. Um, but I wanted to try uh, adding a crate to this and, and moving the crate along the conveyor belt. So we can actually do that. So uh, if we go to objects and um, we go to fancy objects and uh, I think it's in rectangular. Yes, uh, if we get a crate... We can make this crate a little bit small, but I'll show you guys what happens um, with this crate. So if we put it on the conveyor belt, uh, it actually goes towards, but it goes extremely fast. Um, let me go ahead and look at that again. So what you guys might want to add is some sort of railing to the conveyor belt, but it does work. Um, you just will need to put some sort of stopping because it will just pick up speed on the conveyor belt. So um, you might want to watch that. I'll go ahead and show it one more time because it's kind of fast. Yeah, and it just shoots it off from here. Um, I can go ahead and try adding a, a stopping thing right over here. Let's see what that does. Yeah, so it, it basically stops it right there. But um, you, you definitely would want some sort of railings. But... Uh, I think that's pretty much it. It's a it's a really really basic conveyor belt system. Um, of course, also uh, if you wanted to remove that invisible box for the attract objects, just make them invisible. So I can show you guys one more time. Uh, I'll make those all invisible, just like so. And then I'm gonna just destroy this crate, and I'm just gonna go on it myself. Let me just grab this crate out. And we don't need this box. Um, so there we go. Uh, we have just like a normal looking uh, conveyor belt system and it actually functions. So if we go at the end, it will just bring us towards the end. I can do it one more time because it's really satisfying. So I'll just go ahead and do that one more time. And there we go. Uh, it works just as it functions. And uh, hopefully you guys found this tutorial helpful. Uh, I'll catch you guys in another tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.